Good evening, Katsa. Let's continue with our uh, study of uh, the bishop and the knight. Again, we have this king in the in the wrong corner, right? So we'll have to bring him to the other side. So in the lesson number two, uh, we we did uh, talk about uh, different kind of uh, strategies to bring this king. And here I'm just going to show you uh, um, another way to bring the king to the other side. So look, the king is in the corner, right? And we have to bring him to the right corner here. So we play move like knight to seven. That's what we had in the sec second video, right? And again, you just waste a move and uh, and we'll play bishop eight seven. So this is something I, I believe you can remember, right? Now, king goes to e8 and we play king knight e5. And again, we'll study this move. What happens if he goes to f8, right? Knight d7, remember this strategy. Knight goes to d7 check. And now we are going to push this king all the way to the corner. So king goes to e8, we play king e6. And look now, he plays king d8 and we play king d6. This is exactly what we had in, in the previous video, right? He comes back, he wants to run away, we play bishop g6, right? And you cannot run away. Now king goes to d8 and knight c5. Now king to, to uh, um, c8. And what I did in the first, second video, yeah, we just wasted the move, right? Playing bishop f7, and then uh, and then uh, when the king moved to d8, we play knight b7 and and played king c6, and that's great, right? We can we can do it this way as well. Um, you can also uh, you can also play uh, play a move like this, and bishop e8, and when the king goes to d8, now you bring the bishop to the other side, and we are bringing the bishop to b5 because we don't. If you remember. Like in a first ex example, we did not allow the king to go to a6, right? So the bishop b5 is, is, is a very accurate move, and, and we are controlling this diagonal, so the king cannot run away. Now, if the king uh, goes uh, to, to c8, look at this cool move, bishop d7 check. Now, the king cannot go to d8 because it's checkmate, right? And if... Uh, King goes to b8, then we already trap the king. Here, we can play this move. Now, we have a little bit of a um, um, mismanaged situation here, right? Because the knight is also controlling uh, uh, this color, right? A white color, right? So, so we'll have to adjust that. Now, king goes to a8, and look, instead of having a king on c7, you can have king on, on b6. And that's what I wanted to show you because uh, because you want uh, a king uh, 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 to be on b6 or c7, and now and now of course uh, after this move, checkmate. Uh, so uh, that's that's another way to do it. I mean there are so many different ways to do it, right? You you can uh, uh, maybe even find some of your own setups here, uh, but uh, if nothing. Oh, now you, you, you know how to get the king from uh, the wrong corner into the right corner, right? So that's, uh, that's what we did in, in this lesson. So you play knight e7 and uh, king d6, check. And this is an important move that we played uh, in this study, right? In the first, le in the second lesson, I showed you bishop f7, and then knight b7, bringing the king into the corner. Here, here we transfer the bishop uh, to the other side. Sorry, we play bishop e8, and now bishop goes to the other side, bishop b5, and and then this fantastic check, right? With a check, we we um, we are bringing the king to b8 because he cannot go to d8, it's checkmate, right? And look, and I'm ju just adjusting a little bit of king. Look at this adjustments here, right? King's, king was on c7, king is in a great position on c7. We can, of course, still checkmate. We just have to move the knight around and, and figure out the checkmate. But in this case, king b6 is, is, is the fastest way to checkmate, right? This is, this is what, 
what we did in this lesson. Okay, again, go to tools, and you can set up the same position that we had here from the beginning and just practice. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to see you in the, in the next lesson. Bye-bye.